My name is Danny and Brian Kilgore. I am 47 years of age. I'll be 48 in two weeks. I'm from Gardena, California. Life in LA has been, it has its ups and downs. I mean, you have to, you, you have to sleep with one eye open because you can't just, you can't just go willy-nilly. You have to be on, you have to have your head on swivel. But it's, I maintained and it's worked out for me. Maybe certain streets you don't want to go down. But for the most part, downtown LA, it's pretty nice. Uh, I, I came to experience homelessness. Me and my wife lost our apartment because of my dog. She wasn't supposed to have a dog. So we end up getting kicked out of her apartment. So we came down here. I came down here on a voucher. That was the start. And then I got into the winter shelter. And that's where everything helped out. That's where it started. Miss Gilda. I couldn't even start the names. Mr. Mark, Miss Donna, all of them, that's where it all started helping. It took a while, but it, they helped. I end up going to the ninth floor, CCR, Central City Recovery. They helped me out the most, as far as my, because I'm an alcoholic. I'm going to say that on camera. I am an alcoholic. And they helped me out tremendously. And I can't, I just got to get their hands up to them. I can, I can name all kind of names, but they helped me out. The Wine Guard Center, it has been, they fed me. They made sure I was fed. They, they ruled me. So I had somewhere to sleep, I had clothes, linen, I can wash, I can bathe, I could do whatever I needed to do. It helped me out tremendously. If it wasn't for them, I don't know what I've been doing. July, I moved in July 13th. 2000, 2022. I, I like it. I like it a lot because it's quiet. I have my own fridge and I can go warm my own food up. I can cook if I want to, if I feel like it. So I'm, I'm convenient. I like where I live at. I love it. To be honest with you. My neighbors, my neighbors are nice. The building you know, it is what it is, but as far as where I'm at, I'm, I feel comfortable and safe. You know what? Honestly, it took me a minute. It took me a little minute because it's a couple of times I, I went outside to go get stuff and I forgot I even had a refrigerator. And I'm like, she she like, get this, this, this. Where we gonna put it? You got a refrigerator. I do. I didn't. You know, it, it, it took a little minute for me to honestly come to grips and say I actually got this. I got waters. Put them in the freezer. Get fruit, milk, milk and can put it in the refrigerator to eat cereal in the morning. But it took a little minute for me to realize and recognize that I actually have my own. I didn't really realize, recognize it. I was so used to being on the streets or being in the shelter and this and this and that. 
It was different. It is what it is. But now I'm realizing it took me a minute to actually recognize that I actually honestly have my own place. And it feels so good. My future goals and plans right now is to, I want to start working part-time. I don't think I can work full-time right now. So I'm going to do part-time, maybe uh, stocking or something like that. But I just want to spend time with my grandson. I just got my dog. It's eight weeks old. So I want to spend time with my dog, my grandson, work a little bit and just enjoy my life. Just enjoy life. I mean, it's been a constant struggle for the longest. Honestly, it's been a constant struggle. Honestly, I never see myself as a role model. But I see that people look up to me. I don't know why or how, but I see that I inspire people and that inspires me. I mean, I just talk to them. I just let them know what I've been through, what the things I've been going through. I just talk to them and next thing you know, they want to talk to me more and I'm like, Okay. Sometimes I'm going to be by myself. Leave me alone. <laughs> but I don't do them like that. I still talk to them. I mean, I'm there for anybody that wants to be helped. If they want to talk, I'm there to talk. My experience with Kilgore was he came in. You know, first thing I always ask is your story. What have you been through? The only way I can help you is if I understand your story and know how to guide you past anything that was still holding you up. So I asked him the questions that I ask everybody. He was very forthright, very honest, very direct. Kilgore does ex inspire me because he has, like many others, have been through situations and for a lot, that situation brings them down. But Kilgore somehow was able to maintain a sense of happiness, a joy. He mm. liked to make, cut up mm. and make jokes. Mm. He used to, he smiled, he, he came in happy. And that's not something you see every day working in the Access Center. It's been, it's been, it's been a journey but it's been a wonderful journey. I've experienced a lot of things and I learned a lot of things. And if it wasn't for the wine garden, I don't know what I would have did.